Joseph Guibar was more famous in death than in life. He'd be forgotten today if it weren't for the controversy over his burial. In the 1850s, the Catholic Bishop of Montreal, Ignace Bourget, was determined to stamp out dangerous ideas, like the notion that you could read what you choose. Joseph Guibar was a member of a cultural organization called the Institut Canadien. It was a hotbed of the kind of liberal ideas the bishop despised. He called the Institute a seat of pestilence. He warned, no one is permitted to be free in his religious and political opinions. The Institut Canadien's library included works that were on the church's index of forbidden books. The bishop ordered the Institute to get rid of them or face excommunication. His threats scared off some members, but others, including Guy Ball, refused to back down. In 1869, Bourget delivered the fatal blow to the Institute. He threatened, he who persists in the desire to remain deprives himself of the sacraments at the hour of his death. Joseph Guibard had the bad luck to die at that point. When his body was denied burial here at Notre Dame des Neiges Cemetery, Guibard's widow sued the church. After several appeals, it took five years for the British Privy Council to order the burial to go ahead. The first time Guibard's supporters tried to bury him, an angry Catholic mob threw rocks and blocked the gates of the cemetery. Finally, on November 16, 1875, Guibard's coffin was lowered into the ground under army and police protection. His coffin was encased in reinforced concrete to prevent vandals. But the bishop got the last word. He deconsecrated the part of the cemetery where Guibard is buried, proclaiming, there rests a rebel who was buried by the force of arms. Today, Guibard's gravesite is still considered an unholy place. <laughs>